What if you've got a section or columns or say items that you want to hide after say a bit of a time delay? This is actually really simple and easy to do. I've got over here two sections. Now you see me with a bit of like a, uh, a coffee cup going on there. There's a reason for that. And then down below, I've got another section. Now you see me, now you don't. I'm going to go over to this section at the top. And in the section, right, for the section, I'm going to give it some CSS code. The CSS code for this will be in the description, okay? So don't worry about it. You can see here where it says five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. So if you want to change it to be 10 seconds or 50 seconds or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. But you don't really need to change much here. It's just a time delay. If I now go to advanced, I'm going to give this section the word hide me. And I'm going to click update. And now I'm going to go to preview. Now just look at this preview. Okay. Three, four, five. Did you see that? I jumped to three because two seconds had already passed. But after five seconds, that entire section has disappeared. And it might be that you're like got a bit of a promo going on or you're showing them off something or even what if that section contains like a really big Lottie animation or a video or something that plays once or twice. OK, and now you don't want to show it anymore. Now you can literally completely hide that section after a time delay. And don't worry, every time you come back to that page, it will be there again. Maybe you don't want that. But after five seconds, see what it did there? Now let's go back to what I did over here. I'm just gonna um, go back to, bear in mind though, when you come back to edit it, that section is still hidden. So you might need to just click on the section, go over to the class and just take away the word hide me. The code applies to the word hide me. So wherever you got hide me, it will be visible. But I'm now going to go over to this image over here. And I'm going to give this image the class of hide me. Whoops, I'd spell that wrong. Let me give that the class hide me like that. Let's update that. Let's go back over to our page and hit refresh. OK, two, three, four, five. I probably counted a bit too quick there. But did you see that? That image has now uh, disappeared. The gap here has also disappeared. And this is something I want to just let you know about. If I go back over here to the image, it is still highlighted. Can you see here? It's got a hundred uh, padding um, at the bottom of that image in terms of how it was spaced. So when you remove it, if there was any section or padding added to that specific item, that will also disappear. But you could have like an entire section or even just an item you know, it might be there's a, like something there that says, hey, don't miss out on this offer. Then after 50 seconds, that item disappears and everything readjusts for it. This will work for some, might not work for others, but it is quite a cool little trick you could do with some CSS code. OK, like I've shown you over here and just make sure you've got the word hide me. So I put the word hide me back into the section like that. Update that. It will now do it to the entire section after five seconds. Uh, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And of course, keep coming back because we love to help you, your clients and your businesses. Hey, it's Imran from Web Squadron. See you soon.